Today we're going to cover the basics of wireless camera control with the Teradek Bolt 4K monitor modules and Small HD Smart 7 monitors. Now we're very familiar with the process of zero delay wireless video. We send a video signal from a camera into a transmitter. That transmitter in turn sends a wireless video signal to a receiver which displays the image on a monitor. With our new Smart 7 monitors and Bolt 4K monitor modules, we've streamlined this process, integrating our transmitters and receivers perfectly into a small HD monitor. This reduces cable clutter and makes the setup process even faster. The most exciting part of this integration, however, is the ability to wirelessly control camera settings from anywhere on set. When paired with the new Bolt 4K monitor module transmitter, the Bolt 4K monitor module receiver can wirelessly adjust settings such as frame rate, ISO, ND, white balance, and more from your receiver monitor. Let's get right into it and go through the steps on implementing wireless camera control. First off, we're going to list out what's needed. An Alexa Mini, Mini LF, or a Mira. Currently, only RA cameras are supported, but we're working very hard to make it available to several other industry standard cameras. You'll also need two small HD Smart 7 monitors. These include Cine 7, Indy 7, and 702 Touch. You'll need a Cine 7 as your on-camera monitor on RE cameras, since the Ethernet port is required to interface between the monitor and the camera. You'll also need both the receiver monitor module and the transmitter monitor module from Teradek, as well as one camera control license installed on either the receiver or transmitter monitor. So only one camera license per system installed on either the transmitter or receiver monitor. And finally, you'll need three cables, a camera control cable, a video cable from the camera to the Smart 7 transmitter combination, and a power cable to power the monitor and the module. It's imperative that you plug the power cable into the monitor module and not the Smart 7 monitor, or the monitor module will not receive power. The first thing we'll want to do is install the monitor modules on our Smart 7 monitors. We'll do this by screwing the module into the back of the Smart 7 monitor using the two screws at the top and one screw at the base. Then we'll connect the module via the HDMI dongle here. The dongle provides a secure video connection between your wireless module and your monitor, eliminating the need for an additional cable. The same goes for the receiver unit. As you can see, now it has one integrated unit. Next, we'll hook up the transmitter to the camera with a video cable and a power cable. We'll be using SDI and a two-pin power connector. Again, make sure that you are powering the unit via the monitor module. Next, we'll install an RE camera control license. We'll activate the license by going down to the bottom of the menu where we'll select licenses, then add license. We'll then enter our activation key. If you need a more detailed walkthrough of installing a camera control license, you can follow step-by-step -step instructions on our website. Next, we'll want to pair our receiver and our transmitter. We can do this through the UI on our Smart 7 monitor. This can also be done through the Bolt app. On our transmitter monitor, under Feed, we will see Teradek Bolt 4K. We'll select it and then select Pair New Receiver. We'll then put our receiver into pairing mode as well by following the same steps. Feed, Teradek Bolt 4K, and select Pair New Transmitter. The transmitter and receiver should now be able to find each other. Once this has happened, select Accept and let the devices complete the pairing process. Once paired, we'll connect our Cine 7 to our Alexa via an Ethernet cable. Next, we're ready to set up our camera. We'll open the EVF, select Menu, System, Camera Access Protocol, enable the CAP server. Then select Network Wi-Fi, scroll down to LAN IP mode, and select Static. We'll also want to take note of the IP address and password listed on this page, as we'll need it in the next step. The default password should be ARI. Back on our receiver monitor, we'll swipe over to the camera control preset page. We've already checked the box to enable wireless camera control on our transmitter monitor. So now on our receiver monitor, we'll connect so we can control the camera. We'll ensure that the IP address and password match the ones we saw a moment ago on the camera menu. Click connect and we're in. Now we can wirelessly control our Alexa Mini. 
We can change a number of camera settings such as frame rate, ISO, shutter angle, and more. Wireless camera control unlocks all sorts of doors in terms of your production workflow and the speed at which you can make changes to your settings. We're very excited about this new product and we look forward to seeing how you implement it in your setup. Happy shooting!